Hi, my name is Cheryl Fitzgerald. I am a third grade teacher at Vendell Elementary. Today, I would like to go over standard RL 3.1. Ask and answer questions to demonstrate understanding of a text, referring explicitly to the text as the basis for the answers. When reading a piece of text, you can ask what, where, why, who, and when questions. Some examples of questions could be, what is the problem in the story? Where does the story mostly take place? Why is character feeling who? Who are the main characters in the story? And when does the story take place? It is important to ask questions when reading because, one, it will help you pay closer attention to what you are reading. Two, it will help you get more information from the text. And three, you will understand how to answer the questions at the end of the passage easier. Good readers ask questions before, during, and after reading. We can ask questions after reading titles or headings. We can ask questions after reading sentences and paragraphs. Now let's give it a try. Steps to follow. Read the title, what comes to your mind first. Write down questions you have. And three, if you become confused, reread your passage. Today I'm going to read The Serpent and the Eagle. And this passage is from education.com. An eagle swooped down upon a serpent and seized it in his talons with the intention of carrying it off and devouring it. But the serpent was too quick for him and had its coals round him in a moment. And then there ensued a life and death struggle between the two. A countryman who was a witness to the encounter came to the assistance of the eagle and succeeded in freeing him from the serpent and enabling him to escape. In revenge, the serpent spat some of his poison into the man's drinking horn. Heated with his exertions, the man was about to take a drink from the horn when the eagle knocked it out of his hand and spilled its contents on the ground. Now, can you answer the following questions using your passage, The Serpent and the Eagle? Question 1. Why did the eagle swoop down on the serpent? 2. Why did the eagle knock the drink out of the countryman's hand? And three, how did the countryman help the eagle? We can answer questions from a text by rereading the text. When you find the answer to the question, you can underline it and label it with a Q and the question number. Look at question one. Why did the eagle swoop down on the serpent? We can look back at the beginning of our story and it tells us an eagle swooped down upon a serpent and seized it in his talons with the intention of carrying it off and devouring it. Look at question number two. Remember to reread and label the answer when you find it. Question two. Why did the eagle knock the drink out of the countryman's hand? If we look back at our story and reread, an eagle swooped down upon a serpent and seized it in his talons with the intention of carrying it off and devouring it. But the serpent was too quick for him and had his coals round him in a moment. And then there ensued a life and death struggle between the two. A countryman who was witness to the encounter came to the assistance of the eagle and succeeded in freeing him from the serpent and enabling him to escape. In revenge, the serpent spat some of his poison into the man's drinking horn. Heated with his exertions, the man was about to take a drink from the horn when the eagle knocked it out of his hand and spilled its contents on the ground. So if we look back at our question, why did the eagle knock the drink out of the countryman's hand? We can tell that this, that he knocked it out of his hands to keep him from drinking the serpent's poison. Look at question number three. 
Remember to reread and label the answer when you find it. Question number three. How did the countryman help the eagle? When we look back at our story, we can reread. An eagle swooped down upon a serpent and seized it in his talons with the intention of carrying it off and devouring it. But the serpent was too quick for him and had its coils round him in a moment. And then there ensued a life and death struggle between the two. A countryman who was witness to the encounter came to the assistance of the eagle and succeeded in freeing him from the serpent and enabling him to escape. In revenge, the serpent spat some of his poison into the man's drinking horn. Heated with his exertions, the man was about to take a drink from the horn when the eagle knocked it out of his hand and spilled its contents to the ground. If we look back at our question, how did the countryman help the eagle? We can tell in our passage that he helped him by coming to his assistance and freeing him from the serpent, which enabled him to escape. Oops. Now, tips for asking and answering questions from a text. Remember to ask questions before, during, and after reading. Write down questions as you read. Go back and reread the passage before answering questions. And sometimes you may want to read the questions before you read the passage so that you know what you're looking for. This will help you remember that you need to pay attention because it is asked in a question. I would like to give credit to education.com for the passages and direct instruction shop on Teacher Pay Teacher for the worksheets that accompany this video. I hope this helps you ask and answer questions.